So Dan Constantino, Life on the Dirt Circuit here with, um, should I say, Olaf Dixon? Yep, we got a match today, folks, and uh, Olaf thinks he's going to beat me. My name's Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Today I'm going to wear Dan out. <laughs> yep, stay Here tuned for some, uh, some great action today. If I can't beat Olaf today, I might give up the game. First tee, preserve it for day. Dan's got hybrid. A little left. Here we are on the first hole at the Preserve at Verde. Mr. Olaf versus Dan Constantino, life on the dirt circuit. <laughs> Well, guys, we're off. Olaf right down the middle. First hole. I think it might a little left, so I don't know if I'm in play or not, but unbelievable. The match guy, play. The match guy play stripes nine it. Holes. Yeah, match play. And Dan's got 115 into this hole. A little gap wedge. Good shot. <laughs> a little long, <laughs> a little long, Olaf. All right, Mr. Olaf has about 45 feet here on this first opening hole. Let's see if uh, the clown suit here uh, hurts his um, depth perception. Great putt. Dan to go one up. It's something, but I... All square through one, guys. You can show you a little tap in. Had there for saving time, but even par. 142, par three. Dan's got pitching wedge. All right, so here comes Olaf, and he's clearly two for two in greens and regulation, and I've only hit one green, but very impressive so far. We got Jack Attack in the background, Jackie Moon, and there's Olaf, a.k.a. Nelson. Dan just stayed up out of the hazard. Got this putt for birdie. It is so hot in this suit. Metal. Yeah, we're gonna have to see that one. Let's see what he can do. Man, he looks like an idiot. Silky smooth putting stroke. Big carrot nose. There it comes. Oh, he pulled it a little. Oh, that's gonna come up short, folks. Oh, he's gonna have a little slider. All right, Dan's got this. These are not gimmies. A lot of pressure on Dan here. It's good. All right, here we go. Huh. Olaf's got a one, one up lead on daddy. Dan's getting nervous, folks. I got a buck 33 and I brought a nine iron with me. It's a little into the wind, so I'm gonna to try to smooth this up there. He dropped, so he's hitting three. A 
Ну все. Looks like he's going with the Texas wedge, folks. Dan's got this putt for par. All right, Dan's got this for bogey. All right, so this is a go two up. Right now. What I don't understand in life is I work so hard. I go to Haas Family Golf every day of my life. I practice, I take putting lessons. I do everything in life I can do. And Olaf's even par through three and I'm, what, two over. So that's a serious problem, okay? Um, I know it's probably not as bad as it looks because you've got the screen, you probably can see and you're just playing me for a fool, but that's okay, I'm coming to get you, baby. Striped it, little little peel off cut. Yeah, just yeah. Look at the swag, swag walk. Tell me how you feel, Olaf. Was it straight? Yeah, it was perfect. Felt good. Damn with driver. Beautiful. One forty one nine iron. Shot. Here he comes. Here he comes, Mr. Olaf. He's got about a buck thirty something. We're gonna keep this thing rolling. Yep, ten feet. All right, Dan's got about forty feet here. Little meat left. Nelson's got about 25 feet up the hill. He's gonna use his instincts. Wow. Nice putt. All right, guys, Dan's got this four footer. A little pressure here. Good well, guys, at this point, I'm just trying not to make the big mistake. Tied a hole, finally. Woo. Two two down with uh, after four holes. So, look at this play, taking out the three whistle. You think you'd give me a chance? Hit the big lumba. Staying aggressive, even with Olaf in trouble. Trouble. Are you shitting me? Dan, how do you feel about that shot selection? I mean, it was a beautiful swing and everything. You know, his gets through. Maybe it was about 20 yards higher than mine, but. Dan's in a little trouble. He's got a punch out shot here. Beautiful. All right, he's giving me a sliver of hope here. He's hitting four. First ball was OB, right? Little white soldiers. Good swing. He's got 68, he's got seven iron. He might be in my pocket, I might be over, who knows? Good swing. All right, looks like we found uh, Olaf's ball here. <laughs> oh, 
come on. All right, Dan's gonna get this up and down. If I make my putt, I have a chance. Um, that's pretty awesome. All right, baby, so uh, Daddy just hit a little two hop and a stop to make a five on the part five because Olaf was had a little about a four or five footer for six. So that would have been uh, catastrophic if I didn't get that up and down. <laughs> so Olaf's one up. All right, guys, we got 201. Dan's one down now, a little momentum. He's got a four high, or four iron, like driving iron thing. Just watch the water. Ooh. All right, Olaf's, he's got probably a four or five iron. I just hit it in the right drink. Door open. Dan dropped, he's hitting his third. Flared that last one out of the right. He's got to get this up and down and have a chance. Ooh, pretty good. All right, Olaf has 80 feet downhill. He's had this putt before. Loving the booty on Olaf. Here she comes. Well, that's ridiculous. Dan to have the hole. Down two. Right. Striped. There it is, left side of the fairway. I'm starting to get a little self-conscious about my game. Maybe that guy's comment was right. Maybe I am just a glorified eight handicap. You ever look at you? You ever see an eight handicap hit one like that, baby? <laughs> All the time. Dan's got eight iron, and 55. Beautiful shot. Dan's got a 40 footer up the hill. This one breaks severely left to right. His left to right. Maybe the nail, folks. Oh, oh come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. Big putt for Danny Boy. at least take it to number number eight. Unbelievable. Dormy! Dormy. Dormy, <laughs> baby. That's pretty good. Hole number eight, Dormy. Still got a chance. Yeah, perfect. Dan's got to win the next two. Beautiful little cut right down Broadway. 186 yards to a back left pin. That's 
so ridiculous because he hit it so skinny. How do you feel about that shot? You know, there's sellers and there's closers. Olaf's a closer. Dan's got 185. What's seven iron? Uh, coffee's not for closers. As Dan pulled his left of left, he is absolutely dead. Screen's sloping way away. He's gonna have to go way upstairs with this. Pretty good. Just watch how fast that thing goes. Still going. Dan's chance to extend the match. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Woo! I thought I made it. How does it feel to get beat by Olaf? It doesn't feel great, but I didn't know who Olaf was until today. Um, so I appreciate the, uh, the time that you spent with me today. <laughs> And I thought I played good. I really did. I think I shot three or four over, and uh, Olaf was one over. So uh, once again, Daddy loses. Um, I think the next match, he's going to have to go blindfold. <laughs>